guys, Nurse Alyssa here. Today I'm going to teach you how to calculate drops per minute for an IV ran by gravity. But first, if you could hit like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. So let's get started. Okay, so I have everything set out in front of me here, um, and I'm prepared to start this IV, but I have to do the calculation. So what the doctor wants, it says run intravenously one liter over four to six hours. So when I'm hanging it by gravity, normally I will go with the lower hour mark, um, just because sometimes as there's less fluid, it starts to slow down. Um, so we want it to be done by that six hour mark, but we'll set it for four hours just in case it starts to slow down towards the end. So I have everything set out. I have my lining. Now the lining is important because right here it says how many drops it takes for one mil of fluid to go through. So it's 15 drops per mil. So we'll actually need that for our calculation. So I have written down here what we have. So we have our IV lining, which is 15 drops per mil. And our IV fluid, the doctor wants one liter ran over four hours. Okay, so now we need to figure out how many drops per minute so we can calculate when we go to start the IV, um, we'll count how many drops per minute and that'll give us the total of this fluid over four hours. Okay, so let's get started. We have 15 drops over one mil. Okay. And then we have our IV fluid. So we have one liter over four hours. Okay. So we have to get drops per minute. Okay. So we don't have minutes on here, so we can create minutes here. So one hour is 60 minutes. Okay, so now we have minutes here um, and we have to set it up like this so we can cross out because they have to be opposites of each other to cross. Okay, and then we need to get, so we have drops per minute is what we need. We have drops per minute here, but we also have a mil and a liter. So because they're not the same, they can't be crossed out. So we're going to create another one. 1,000 mils is one liter. Okay, and now we can cross them out. Okay, so now we're left with, after all these are crossed out, we're left with drops Per minute okay so now how we calculate we multiply all the tops and we multiply all the bottoms and we'll divide the two so I have my calculator okay so we have 15 times 1 times 1 times 1,000 equals, okay, so we have 15,000, okay, and so this is carried over because it's the only one left, okay, and then let's calculate the bottom, so 1 times 4 times 60 times 1 equals 240, and that's minutes. Okay, and now we're going to divide the two. So we have 15,000 divided by 240 equals, so we have 62 drops per minute. So that's how that's calculated. 
So we would run this bag um, at 62 drops per minute. So the easiest way is to divide that by four. So if you take that 62 divided by four equals 15. So it's about 15 drops every 15 seconds. So I find that's a lot easier to set um, if you're using your phone to watch the drops and then you can you can go for 15 seconds and then you can adjust as needed. It's easier than sitting there for a full minute and then adjusting. So every 15 seconds is 15 drops. Okay, that's how I personally do it. But in total, you want 62 drops per minute. You're not going to get it perfect while you're running it by gravity, especially because it changes um, positionally too. If somebody, if somebody moves from a sitting to a laying down position, the drops per minute will change. Um, so just make sure that the family is mindful of that. Um, just to watch that it's about 15 drops every 15 seconds. Here's a better look at the calculations. Feel free to stop the video to write it down if needed. So I have a second example. Um, so now I have this small medication IV. Um, so medications are normally ran a lot faster than hydration because it's a lot less fluid. So here it says infuse one gram over 30 to 60 minutes. So this is ceftriaxone, one gram in normal saline. Um, so it says inject 60 mils of infused compound. Okay. So what we have, we still have our same lining. Um, so we use the same lining for either like anything that we're going to run. We always use the same lining. This is what we have. Um, Yours may be a little different, so just make sure you get the drops per mil. So what we have, we have our IV line, which is 15 drops per mil. We have our IV fluid, which is 60 mils to run over 30 minutes. Okay, once again, we need drops per minute. So we'll start our calculation by 15 drops over one mil equals 60 mils over 30 minutes. Okay, so sometimes people get confused, which, which one do I put over which? So always start off with your drops per mil because we always want drops on top okay and then to be able to cross out it has to be opposite so if we have mils down here we need a mil up here to be able to cross it out and so this one since we're not um putting it over a few hours and it's only minutes we already have our minutes so we don't even have to change um or add anything because we have exactly what we need here so drops per minute exactly what we want so we start calculating we just times the two okay so 15 times 60 equals 900 drops and then 1 times 30 is going to be 30 minutes okay 900 divided by 30 equals 30 drops per minute. Now, um, so that's drops per minute. I like to go over 15 seconds. Um, so we would divide it by four. So 30 divided by four equals seven and a half. So about seven or eight drops seven drops in 15 seconds. 
okay um, like I said before you don't have to do this but I find it to be a lot quicker when I am counting the drops out um, so the drops it's when your fluid drops from here okay so that's what you're counting and it'll drip 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 so that's what you're counting here and you would want seven drops in 15 seconds or you can count for the full minute and it's 30 drops per minute Once again, here's an up close of the calculation. That's all I have for this video. I'll catch you next time.